Hey YouTube, Nico here again for another guitar lesson. Uh, today is going to be a very, very simple guitar lesson. Um, so I was actually just playing that in the wrong key, but beside the point. Um, we're going to be teaching you how to play Wheels by the Foo Fighters. Man, this is one of my favorite songs to play on the guitar. Um, this is not the riff. This is the acoustic version that Dave Grohl plays when he's playing by himself. Um, yeah, he's not playing with the acoustic when he's playing with the band, but... Uh, this is a good version if you're trying to impress some ladies or you're trying to learn a few easy chords and learn a song where your fingers don't really do a lot of moving. But it has a few funky strumming patterns that you'll pick up as you listen to the song because when you start playing it, you'll be like, okay, this is exactly how the, sa the song sounds. It's just on an acoustic and you're going to be super excited that you learn how to play the song. So uh, the first thing according to what I've read is it's supposed to be on the second fret. In the beginning there, I was playing on the third fret. Um, but whatever fret you put it on is just going to be a vocal range you're in, but if you want to match the um, tuning of this song and play these chords, then um, you want to put it on the second fret. The electric version, you're playing the same chords, like the same notes, but you're playing without the capo, so it's going to be different shapes. So, um, this, is, this song only has four chords. It has a C, add nine, a G, an E minor seven, and a D. So, the basis of this song is, if you, want to, if you want, take your basic G shape. So if you don't know how to play a G chord, um, you should by now. But uh, it's gonna be your middle finger on the third fret of the E string, your first finger right behind it there on the second fret, opens, and then the B and the E string on the bottom are gonna be covered by these two. So normally you can play a D chord or G chord only covering the bottom string, but for this song, you're gonna have to cover both of them. And honestly, I don't think I ever play a G without covering both of them, but that's just me. It's up to you guys, but for this song, I would recommend covering both the E and the B string. So take that, that G shape and just move it down a string. Then you have your C add 9 chord, which is going to be your first chord. So that's going to be, you don't want to play this top string unless you want to cover it, but usually when you play it, it automatically mutes this string. But just to put it in terms of numbers, it's going to be two, so open, don't play this one, two, or sorry, open, three, two, open, three, three. I'll give you this nice kind of, kind of really super happy sounding C chord. So normal C chords like this, right? You're going to play a C like this. Then your next chord, so the chords are going to be from a C, you're going to play a G, which I just showed you how to play a G. And your next chord is going to be an E minor 7. So, kind of like if you play that Oasis song, um, how is it? <laughs> Wonderwall, I can't think of what it's called. But uh, it's kind of similar to Wonderwall where you don't really move these two fingers down here. These kind of just stay barred down here. So, so C to G, so E minor. So normally an E minor is played, well, I mean, whatever fingers you want to use. But an E minor is one of the first chords you usually learn. But an E minor is played like this. So... You do want to play the, the open string. So open, two, two, open, open, open. And it should sound like this. So if you, so if you listen to that, it doesn't really sound quite like how the song sounds. But once you keep that, um, once you put these two strings in, it sounds like it. So and that's how you play it with the E minor. So I've seen some people play it like this too, where they, um, they, they don't cover the E string and they play the B string. I think it sounds better like this, just a personal preference, but you can kind of mess around with it and you can take the, however you want to play the notes, it's gonna sound right. It's just however you want to play it. So, so C, G, E minor, and then a D. So if you don't know how to play a D, that should also be one of your first chords you learn how to play. So a D is like this, if I can get into the screen. So a D is you're not gonna play um, the E string, and you can play the A string, I mean, normally you're supposed to play um, just the D through the E strings, but, so from the D string, open, two, three, two. So basically, you're playing two on the um, G string, three on the B string, and then two again on the E string. And this one, you don't want to keep that finger down. You want to, you want to have that, that E string right now. So from the beginning, C, add 9, G, 
E7, D. And that's, those are the chords you need for the entire song. So practice the transition of this first before you start playing the song. So from what I can tell and the way I play it is there's only really two strumming patterns. It's all the same timing. It's just when you kind of, how you accent the notes. So if you listen to the beginning, it kind of has this little stoppage after it plays the G chord, so. So it kind of stops and then goes to the E. So the strumming pattern is down, down, up, down, up, down. And then after that down, you play three downs of a G. So it goes to the song, it's like dun, 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 dun. Then it goes to the E minor. So down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 down. Then you stop, you play the E minor for two more strums. Then you play the D. That's just like an up, down, up, down, up, down. So you stop, E minor. So if you just listen to them play, you'll get the strumming pattern down. I really kind of hate saying down, up, down, up, and down, up. It's kind of more of a feel thing. It's just how you think it should sound. I mean, obviously you want to make it sound like the song, but it's more of, you know, if you want to do all down ups. It's up to you. It's just, that's what I recommend. You'll play and you'll say, okay, this sounds, this sounds right. So that's how you play the intro and, um, I guess, the chorus. But when you get to the part, you know, it's like, I guess that's the chorus, but when you get the parts like, you know, when the wheels come down, when the wheels come down. So that's gonna be, there's no stoppage, it's just, it's a four, four time, so. When the wheels touch ground, when the wheels touch ground. That's straight four bars, you know, one bar, one bar, one bar, one bar, switching back and forth. So, the intro, to the, you know, I know what you're thinking. It's the same thing, it's just gonna mute some of the stuff. You can also play the song without the little stoppages if you want. Like, it's gonna sound the same. It's gonna sound good no matter what. So, just to recap, uh, the four chords, C at nine, G, E major seven, or E minor seven, sorry, and a D. So take time and play how you want, but as long as you know the chords and you know the flow of the song, you're going to learn how to play the song pretty quick. So um, this has been Nico with another guitar lesson. Make sure you subscribe. I'm really trying to get a lot of these guitar lessons out there for you guys. That way you guys can learn some new songs and learn how to play some songs right away. So thanks for watching, guys.